Welcome back to our video series on how to write a descriptive narrative essay. In the last video, we learned how to write the introduction for a descriptive writing. Uh, in this video, what you're going to learn is to describe a place. How do we use certain techniques to help our description stand out when describing a place? Now, going back to the question that we did, again, if you haven't checked out our video, um, please do so. I'll put the links in the down comments below. The question is, describe the sights and sounds at a busy shopping mall. Remember to describe some of the people there as well as the place. Have a look here at our plan. So this is our overall plan. We're done with the introduction. Now we're going to learn how to describe a place. I'm going to start off by describing a busy shopping mall. I'll share with you three different techniques that will help your description stand out. Now, these three techniques are, how do we describe a place? The three techniques are using five senses, simile, and camera panning method. Now, the five senses, as a lot of you know, is what you see, smell, hear, what you feel, um, um, and what you taste. The five senses, actually, there are more than that, but let's just stick to five here. Most students, when we write, we just focus on what we see, not so much of what we hear or what we feel. So it is important when you're describing a place, think about how you feel the temperature around you. Is it warm? Is it cold? Um, and the sound that you're hearing, uh, perhaps even some smell that you're experiencing, if you can. So five senses, super important. Apply it throughout your essay. Next, simile. How do we describe something? How do we make a description stand out? Uh, one of the ways is to compare it to something else. Now, I will show you some examples of simile. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a simile is, it's basically, you know, some, something is as, as big as an elephant, um, as busy as a bee. You know, these are all very cliche similes, but we'll show you some other similes that we're going to be using later on. The third one is what we call camera panning method. I like to use this method because it gives some structure to your description of a place. You first talk about like, Let's say you're standing uh, at, the, at the door entrance. What's to your left? What's in front of you? What's to your right? When you do that, you know, it, you, it's almost like you're bringing the, the audience around as if you're holding a camera and you're showing them, all right, this is the scene that I'm seeing. Now, let's have a look at the description over here. Now, I'm going to describe this place, um, North Point, right? Um, and I will start off by describing the exterior of North Point and then I'll talk a little bit about the interior. Remember, this is a busy shopping mall. And also remember, okay, keep in mind that you, you went in pretty happy, but you know, the moment you, you, you saw the mall, how crowded it was, you kind of felt a little, uh, a little disappointed. So let's have a look here. As soon as we reached the main entrance of North Point, I was greeted by four tall pillars and giant mushroom-shaped shelter that looked like it was sucking passers by into the mall. You see, we're describing the exterior, what we see. I was greeted by four tall pillars and then the entrance now. North Point, this is kind of near my house. This is how it looks like, you know, I'm just describing this. Now, to me, it looks like a mushroom, so I just call it mushroom. And there's the entrance, and people are streaming into the mall through this tiny little entrance, almost like, you know, the, the entrance is sucking in people. And, and you see the, the pillars here, definitely more than four, but, you know, who's counting? And let's go on. On a warm day, on a warm day like this, the cool air oozing from within the mall just invited us to hasten our steps to join the other mall goers, like troops, marching through the shopping mall entrance. Now, we are using five senses over here. We are describing how we feel. The sensation is warm outside, and then the moment I'm close to the mall, I can feel the air conditioner, you know, the cool air coming up from within the mall. And those of you, if you've been paying attention, you realize that we have been using similes throughout, right? You see this? A giant mushroom-shaped shelter. That's kind of a, a, a simile to describe how it looks like. And then we're like troops marching through the shopping mall entrance. So again, see we're applying simile right here. Let's move on. However, as soon as I entered the mall, my excitement was dampened by the sight of throngs of people before me. Remember, this is to describe the emotion. My excitement was dampened. And let's go on to apply the camera panning method to talk about what you see on your left, in front of you, and on your right, perhaps. So the Starbucks cafe on my left was full to the brim with some patrons waiting impatiently for their overpriced lattes. You notice this to the left, you know, we have 
patients waiting impatiently for their overpriced latte. All these words have negative connotation. They are setting the tone for this paragraph. It's somewhat negative, right? Right in front of me, even the jarring looking jewelry shop, uh, jarring looking is not, not nice, right? It was unusually packed with customers, right? And the escalator next to it, so to my left, in front of me, now next to it, the escalator is like a busy conveyor belt, endlessly sending shopper after shopper, shopper in and out of the basement. So it looked like a busy conveyor belt. This again is a simile. We are talking, we're describing how you know, there are a lot of people going in and up, up and down the escalator. I glanced at my mom waning smile. So my mom's smile disappeared. So I'm describing some other people as well. We march on hoping that Ding Tai Fong will somehow be a little quieter and ready to serve two ravenous diners. So these two ravenous diners refers to you know, my mom and myself. Now, here is the description of the exterior of the shopping mall. In the next paragraph, let's just scroll back up. We're going to describe a busy restaurant. So here is a challenge. Write a paragraph describing a busy restaurant. Again, you can describe the exterior, maybe what you see uh, from the inside. You can describe any restaurant that you want. It doesn't have to be this restaurant that I just mentioned. Ding Tai Fung can be anything. Describe a busy restaurant using the five senses. Now, uh, the mood can be the mood for this particular essay. It is negative. So if you can stick to a, a slightly more like disappointed mood uh, tone. Okay? But if you want to go with a positive one, that's fine by me. Uh, as long as you're applying these three techniques, five senses, simile, and the camera panning method is great. Now, right up the paragraph, put it down in the comments below. I'll give you some feedback and you can see your friends' comments as well. I'll see you in the next video. And for now, bye-bye.